I see that Jean-Claude Carrier just left the room, so I can tell you a few things about him. <laughs> Brigitte Bardot, Jean Moreau, the very young Catherine Deneuve, 55 years ago. Those were the stars in our sky. He was 29, I was 23. We worked together, not really together, we just worked on the same film, Viva Maria. And since we shot in Mexico, he was working there as well, with Bunuel writing Belle de Jour for Catherine Deneuve. And somehow, anarchy and surrealism was in the air. And Louis Malle's film got completely imbued with these trademarks of Jean-Claude's films later on. Not exactly recipes for box office, surrealism and anarchy. Well, he made it work, the charme discret de la bourgeoisie, the most lunatic lines, incredible situations, an army marching through a bourgeois salon, or uh, the obscure object of desire, were two completely different actresses. Angelina Molina and Carole Bouquet played the same character. Well, Jean-Claude and Bunuel got away with murder. Uh, Milos Forman noticed him, took him to America for his first movie, uh, Taking Off, and worked with him until his last one, Goya's Ghost. It took me, I think, 15 years of friendship before I dared asking him to work on a screenplay, and we wrote in French the very German tin drum, which he followed by the very Polish Danton for Vaida. Just shows you the range of his culture. In the meantime, he saw sometimes really box office, straight main street movies, mainstream movies. Uh, the best of them, I think, La Piscine, be it for the beauty of the screenplay or the beauty of Romy Schneider and Alain Delon's bodies. Jean Claude is the most wonderful man to work with. I mean, just going there in the morning, you rejoice already. Because you know you will get a lot of work done, you will have a lot of fun, you'll have good company, you'll hear, hear good stories, and you will leave, if not a better man, at least feeling better. All your worries are behind. That's the side effect of working with Jean-Claude. A problem? There is no problem. We'll do it this way. Well, what could we do with this scene? Wait a moment. Then something comes to your mind. Good, 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 let's use it. Whatever the first thing is that comes from your unconscious, from your imagination, trust it, don't doubt it, don't try to perfection it, don't finesse with it, let's write it down. And if you're still questioning, well, I'll do you a drawing. And he sits down, he's a very good cartoonist, and he does a drawing and say, you see, the situation works. And this profound trust in the power of whatever comes from his imagination is probably the secret why he could write so fast and be so prolific in his entire career. Because films are only one aspect. Uh, he is a theater man, he is a Shakespeare man. His work with Peter Brook is legend. Uh, for years and decades, they worked at the Bouffe du Nord. Everything from Shakespeare uh, to Aristophanes to Aesop to the Mahabharata in 11 hours, the 11,000 pages epic from India. And then he writes books. He writes books on quantum physics, on the financial market, on Spain, on Mexico, on Iran. I mean, I can't stop. I have to stop. I'm too long already. Uh, his fav my favorite of his books is called Le Vin Bourru, The Immature Wine, where he tells the story of his childhood on a wine-growing farm, a little farm, his father's place in the southwest of France. And he tells the story only by describing the tools, the instruments the peasants and the craftsmen used with all their works and their function. And somehow I always see him, and you will see him, with the assured and calm pace of a peasant plowing his field. And so he's been plowing the field of cinema for 60 years now. I think I need help. Maybe the other half of the obscure object of desire, his friend from Spain, 
Ángela Molina. Hi. Good evening. Last night I had a dream. <laughs> so Buñuel asked me to give a kiss to his friend Jean Claude Carrier. What kind of a kiss? A bless, a bless, a bless. Un beso, Un beso santo. santo. Un beso santo. <laughs> You guessed it, the lifetime achievement of the European Academy goes to Jean-Claude Jean Carrière. Jean-Claude Carrière. So, of course, I, I, I thank you a lot. I'm just sorry about one thing tonight. I forgot my black tie. I don't wear any. I have one, but it is in my pocket. <laughs> I brought it from Paris, but when I tried to put it on, it was too short. So I could. So I came without black tie. Please forgive me. And, uh, well, I thank you so much. I was, you know, when I heard that, I had that uh, distinction, I was extremely surprised and very happy. At the same time, very happy also to meet Volker Schlandorf. I didn't know it was him who was going to, to give it to me. And very sad to come to Poland a few weeks after the death of uh, Andrzej. Vesa, of course. You know, life is like this. Sometimes you, you are happy, sometimes you are not. Uh, I would like just tonight to say thank you to all the directors, including Volker, who have been working with me. Because it, a, a script is nothing without a director. It's, it's a, well, it's a black tie without a neck. So, <laughs> so thank you, Volker. Thank you, Benoit. Thank you, uh, Vajda. They, they all taught me something about my work. My work is to write for film. And a, a, a script is like a first vision, a first image of a film. But it is not a film yet. It's like a sort of... Uh, uh, Insect, you know, like, like, uh, but not, not yet a butterfly that flies. So, thank you to all of you, especially to the all the many directors I've been working with. I salute Pedro and Monovar, and who is a very good friend. I admire him very much. We never work together yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, beware, beware. <laughs> Bye-bye, thank you, and thank you for this so much.